cleansing actions of soap and detergents. Uh, okay. So let's see this example. Uh. Uh, let's say this is the fabric. Okay. On the surf, uh, fabrics of a cloth. Okay. On the surface here, okay, there is a dirt. Uh, let's say this is a grease. Okay, this is a grease. Huh? So the soap reduces the surface tensions of water, and this will increase the wetting abilities of water. So the surface of cloth is wetted thoroughly. So that is the first one. Okay, so it can wet the surface of the cloth uh, thoroughly. Okay, that's the first step. The soap ions, uh, okay, it has a hydrophilic and a hydrophobic part. Okay, let's say the uh, this one, okay, the 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 circle represents the hydrophilic. Uh, this this long tail represents the hydrophobic. Okay, the circle represents the hydrophilic. The circle represents the hydrophilic, and the long tail represents the hydrophobic. So the hydrophobic part it can dissolve into the grease. Okay, it hate water. But it love uh, organic solvents. Okay, so it don't like to stay in water, so it would dissolve in the uh, organic solvents like grease or oil. So the hydrophobic part of the soap and ions dissolve in the grease, and the hydrophilic parts attracted to the water molecules. So the hydrophilic part still remain uh, on the surface of the grease. Okay, uh, because uh, this this part will remain in water. So the subsequent mechanical actions of rubbings of uh, or, or uh, tumblings remove the dirt. Okay, so if uh, you rub the cloths, okay, when you rub the cloths, uh, you can slowly the soap ions can dissolve to uh, uh, on uh, more uh, more onto the grease. It can dissolve more and more uh, into the grease. So uh, these get detached. The dirt are washed away with excess of water, leaving the fabric clean. Okay, so what happened is that you see, yeah, slowly this grease uh, is removed from the surface of the fabric. Finally, okay, finally the whole grease is removed. After the grease is removed, uh, let's say we have another grease. Okay, let's say we have another grease. Let's use the same color. Okay, there's there's another grease here. Okay. If there's another grease, then we will find that the grease, okay, this grease, uh, it carry negative charge on the surface. Okay, it carry negative charge on the surface. Why? Because the hydrophilic parts carry negative charge. All these hydrophilic parts carry negative charge. Uh, okay, so if there is another uh, grease, uh, same thing occurs, okay. So the hydrophilic parts remain in the water and it carry negative charge. So this uh, this dirt, since they all carry the same charge on the surface, then they can't get close to each other. They can't get close to each other. So they they, they can't combine together. Yep. So if you use water to rinse this cloth, uh, then uh, this grit can be re removed easily. So grease is removed from the cloth surface as a tiny oil droplets uh, okay and uh, these tiny oil droplets with negative charge repel each other and this prevent them from redeposits on the surface so that is how the cleansing actions occurs uh. Uh, you need to know you need to know uh, how to explain this uh. Uh, in exam you need to know how to answer this uh, how to answer this uh, for example the question will look something like this okay explain how soap helps to remove greasy dirt from the surface of a cloth okay and these are the points these are the points that you need to give soap dissolves in water and reduces surface tensions of water and then water wets the cloths the hydrophobic parts of the soap dissolve in grease and the hydrophilic parts dissolve in water the grease is loosened and being lifted off from the surface the grease is dispersed into smaller droplets okay these are the points uh, that you need to give and make sure that uh, you remember all these points uh, if this come up in essay question you write all these six points then you get six mark already so these are the questions and these are the six points uh, exactly the same points okay, uh, okay in the tables uh.